Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson, we're going to work on the horizontal jumping. And I'm actually going to change this line now. So the degree modifier line, I'm going to change that to private. Let's change that to a float. And I'm going to use 22.5F. And we'll change that now because we have nearly finished the control refinements. So let's go through and see what we need to change. Okay, let's have a look here. jump backwards and we have the controls so let's go through horizontal input manager um i'm going to change the naming convention let's say horizontal jump Input manager and we'll just hit apply there. So that should have been changed. In the void update and it has been so let's continue on. Obviously, we can uncomment this now. And let's go through and change what needs to be changed. So, first, if line can stay as it is. In fact, I'll create a line break. We'll say if, open and close brackets. And inside those brackets, we're going to say analog stick angle is greater than 45 plus the degree modifier. And we'll need the or. Let's um, put this on another line. Analog stick and all is less than 45 minus the degree modifier. Come to the next line and we'll just say return. So let's get this into the comments. If so. How did I word this? Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Just wondered how I word this on jump, but we'll just word it. Analog stick angle is greater than 45 plus the degree modifier. So, and, sorry, not and, it should be or, or analog stick angle is less than 45 minus the degree modifier. And then just the normal comment for the return. And that is, should be all we need to change. Oh, 
should add in the else. Let's just copy all of that. So let's paste that in below and we'll change what needs to be changed. So this time it's going to be 135 and same again. And we just need to change that in the comments. And let's just tidy everything up. So that should be all we need to change in that blog. So let's have a look. And we'll just check that everything's correct. Actually, should be a line break there. Let's come back up. If you're wondering where the 22.5 come from, minus the degree modifier value, we can put this into the comments, which is half of 45 degrees and we also need to define our vector 3 so let's have a look should be in the play a jump block So jump backwards, jump forwards, so jump forward, jump backwards, we'll add dot wire onto where we say greater than or equals to play jump height. Um, and we'll also do it here dot y sorry I was just wondering why I had the red error and it's because we are missing this line and we'll probably just move this to one place and just then just reference it so we don't have it in each one greater than or equals to that should be jump height temp and let's have a look jump height temp So let's save that off there. We'll downsize this for now. We'll hit play. And just bear with me while I grab my controller. So let's run Round one. Fight. So the jump height is a little more sensible now. The, the play is still, obviously the gravity is still way too strong. But the difference is, is now if just feels so much nicer to control and yes we will have to fix that as well where we can stand on the opponent but uh, 
that's quite an easy fix so we'll get that done later and yeah it just feels a lot more fluid a lot more precise just feels better overall so let's stop that there and as i said we can actually move this out so let's just copy that line and of course we can just find this up here so it's the jump height just trying to think where the best place to put it is we'll put it here with the public floats it can be of type private jump height defines the vector for the player's jump height I suppose you could put something like in 3D space or something like that if you wanted but let's just come back down let's have a look jump backwards let's just get rid of it in there we'll delete it out of jump forward and we'll cut this time at player jump and we can actually just put this in the void start so obviously we can delete the vector 3 from the front of the line now and we'll tidy up the comments we can leave everything the same and now we just have that line of code called once rather than continuously called and i think we'll leave it there for this video now for the next lesson i can do one of two things i did mention this in the last video which is we can continue to refine the player movement by working on refining the gravity or we can come back to the gravity later and we can continue on with other things um so if you have any preference please leave them in the comments below and i will try to accommodate on what you all prefer me to do but as i said we'll leave it here for now so as always <clears throat> i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now